All right, everybody, as of now, we're expecting a storm of some sort to take place in the Texas, Oklahoma area and look at what they're doing. They are prepping this area ahead of this system, in my opinion, to enhance these storms that are expected later on this afternoon. And you can see that happening right now. Scalar beams all over this area, enhancing the area full of energy. And once that low pressure system makes its way into Texas and Oklahoma, we are going to see the enhancement take place. I can't say for sure yet, but it looks to me like they are absolutely enhancing this area and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Welcome back my friends. It is 6-6-2024. A very significant day for a lot of people. Yesterday was a record-breaking day for weather. 22 tornado warnings issued yesterday within the Baltimore, Washington region. This is the most we ever had since 2012 and you're not going to believe what happened right before this took place. And to show you that I'm going to use the College of DuPage Mosaic NextRad website. This shows all the next red towers. Each one of these little blobs is an activated tower. And I want you to focus on the time here. We're going to go up to 1855 and you're going to notice something. And this is just as the severe weather is building up and curling up into the northeast and about to drop all those tornado warnings in Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Maryland. Take a look at what happens leading up to that time. We're at 1755, 1805, and then we get to the end of the 18th hour and take a look at what happens. A complete shutdown. Every single next red radar tower was shut down for almost two hours right when we get to about 21 25 is when this activates back on and we have our radar back and that is right in the middle of the insane weather that took place here in the northeast i don't know if they did this to try to hide these types of beams that we're looking at i don't know if this was some sort of coincidence but you keep backtracking here it's still available to see it shuts off for a full two hours before that weather reached the northeast in this area here very very odd that not 24 hours before that as you could see on this post here we talked about the tornadoes from yesterday and that was on top of the breaking news from the next red weather radar being down we posted on that as well which was all followed by the AT&T and Verizon outage that spanned the entire country including 911 systems for about the third time in a four month period there is something very strange going on with our weather our communications our internet our cell phones everything is at the disposal of these outages and they've been happening more and more frequently and now we are dealing with these outages right before or after or during severe weather. This is absolutely insane what happened to the Northeast. People really need to begin to get this into their minds and not let it go. We need to be used to seeing this stuff and get a trained eye on these maps. That's the information I'm trying to share with everyone to learn how to read these beams and see which ones are actually affecting weather and which may not be. To see this happening before a set of storms is expected in this area has been leading me to believe that these storms are being enhanced and we've proved it over and over again. What are the chances that just in this specific area here and nowhere else in the country, they have these scalar beams, the next red radar beams going on in an area that's expecting, as of right now, a not so severe situation, but could very well become one because of this extra energy being put into the air. All right, my friends, I appreciate each and every one of you. Eyes on Oklahoma and Texas today, as well as keeping an eye out for those random outages and always be on your toes for some sort of crazy global event. You know how they love their numbers. All right, my friends, talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.